Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mobile Weekly slash Mobile Q&A. We go over all the news that happened during the week of mobile and answer your questions live. If you have any question you want to ask, just ask it right now in the comment section down below and I will answer it before the end of the show. Alright guys, today is a heavy, heavy filled news week. It just really kind of came up over the last three days while I was gone. Mind you, I was on a trip to New York. Video coming out tomorrow on all the new Xiaomi stuff that I saw while I was there and a new review as well. So let's get started with some of the news. First off, the Galaxy S10. We know a lot more about it now, so let's get to it. So first big thing is on the Galaxy S10, we now have the first images from case makers. Now when case makers get the phone, these are pretty much what we're going to see. So the back is pretty much dead on to what we're going to see. So you're gonna see a triple camera set up on the back, volume rocker, big speed button, also there as long as with the power button on the other side, all of that has not changed. That is what we are seeing on the S10. So again, once we have seen these before, these are pretty much dead on on how we've seen them every single time, which is some good news. And that is because another case manufacturer revealed the bottom, which yes, has a headphone jack. So that is really cool. It looks like for all of you that have been asking me over and over and over again, yes, the Galaxy S10 looks like it will retain the headphone jack, at least one of the versions. Considering this is one with the widest back, you're definitely gonna have to consider that to definitely be the biggest one. So at least the best S10 will have a headphone jack. Will all of them, or will they cut it to save some cost? I'm not sure, but it's something to note. Uh, although that's still gonna be a couple months away. All right, now the other big one is of course, we now have our first leaked image of the S10 from the front on the screen. This is on the manufacturing plant where they are literally making the device. And you can definitely see one thing there and that is the two cameras. So you can definitely see there are two cameras there, right there, you, so easily you can see it. Um, and it's, it's there. Now, this isn't final design, this is literally a box that these are put in while they're being assembled. So really, the screen is connected to the motherboard and that's about it. All of the other things are basically not how the actual phone is gonna look like. So it's not gonna be that squarey, uh, it's not gonna have this big of a bezel at the top and the bottom. That isn't going to be how the final build is. Obviously, we don't have a curved display on it as well right here. So the main thing though is it does look like they are saving spots for two camera holes. That being said, it does look like this is going to be how this device overall is going to operate. So yeah, uh, this is being connected with a rear camera and a front camera right now. So these are the front cameras connected to the phone while the rear camera is gonna be on the back. It does look like two cameras in the front, which, you know, I do, will say this. I do love the Pixel uh, for the wide angle camera for selfies. I really, really love it. And even though the Note and all Samsung smartphones have had a wider angle than let's say the iPhone or then the stock version of like a Pixel, or sorry, OnePlus or a Pixel, it is nicer to have a secondary, even wider angle to really get those uh, selfie shots. I laugh every time celebrities take a selfie with an iPhone because it's garbage for the most part in taking a group selfie because you just can't do it. it, it you, you are gonna cut someone off or you really have to get in so big and together compared to that of a Samsung or any other smartphone uh, for that matter, to be honest. The, the iPhone pretty much has the narrowest um, of all of them, although it did get better this past year. But yeah, so that is uh, the S10, or as it's labeled here, Beyond 2. Uh, so uh, that is how it's going to be. What are your guys' thoughts on it? Oh, wait, I do wanna, before we continue on, give a shout out to our uh, Super Chat users. So Alex Rudd, thank you. Uh, thank you again for the welcome back. Uh, I did actually get to hang out with uh, one of the viewers that has supported us a lot here, channel Alex. Uh, thank you for showing me. A uh, cool spot in New York to grab a great pizza at, and I really appreciate it, and showing me some of the sites, even the Barclays Center, so that was cool. Uh, and then Brian Wilson, thank you for the super chat as well. 
I need to get out of my S7 Edge. S10, we're seeing the first images right here, man. So that that is what I would wait for. I would not get any phone right now unless you really need one. If it's just dead, uh, I would wait for the S10, in my opinion. If you're going from an S7 Edge, it is well worth it to wait at this point. Two months, basically, is what you're looking at. Not that much. I'm Three months, maybe, but yeah. All right, now let's get to the news again. And that is the Pixel 3 Lite and Pixel 3 um, Lite XL is what it really seems like. So here's the thing. It's going to be two new phones, which is kind of interesting, kind of weird, because why would Google do that? Like, why would they just have two light versions of the phone? I think, uh, look, the, the, the plain and simple thing is, is when the Nexus series died, the Pixel series became something completely different. The Nexus series used to be affordable flagships up until I want to say the Nexus 6. The Nexus 6P was overpriced as well. Uh, but I think the Nexus, maybe it was the Nexus 5X was the, was the least expensive one. But yeah, it really is something uh, that definitely kind of hurt the comp, not the company, but Android users until OnePlus effectively took its place. Now with the Pixel series, we are looking like we might actually get a Pixel 3 Lite, which will bring us back to the Nexus day and possibly really complete with the OnePlus 6, although the hardware might not. So the camera definitely is still gonna be there. It doesn't look like they're doing anything different with the camera. Uh, and so this was the Pixel 3 Lite version. Okay, and this is the XL version. Neither one has a notch. Maybe Google heard something after all the complaining we've been doing since before it was released. Uh, but yeah, so this is the XL version. Uh, now let's see them side by side. As you can see slightly bigger, just like the regular. Uh, again, I always tell people, get the Pixel 3. It's way better um, than the Pixel 3 XL in my opinion. It's just more worth the money. Um, and let's see, what do we have here for the specs? So for the Pixel 3, it is going to be a 5.5 or 5.6 inch display is what they will label it as. You are going to get a Snapdragon 670. So the processor is definitely the downgrade of it. Uh, you're still gonna get a 1080p display though. So that's still good. 12 megapixel primary, eight megapixel front camera, uh, 2915, which I think is the exact same battery as the normal Pixel 3. Um, and it's looking like it's going to be from between the $500 to $600 price range. Now it does only come with 32 gigs of storage, which I do feel is too little still in this day and age, even for a phone at that price. Hey, if OnePlus can do it, why can't Google? And that, that's kind of my thought process. Uh, but it does have quick charge 4.0. It does have uh, um, um, the ability to get uh, four gigs of RAM only, which again is still not enough. Like I. I I can see it more for a phone in this price point, but I really think at this point, Google isn't going to get more RAM on this phone because then it would undercut their current Pixel lineup. Google now knows that they should have put six gigs of RAM on their smartphones, but at the same time, they can't put it on here because then it's better in some ways than their current flagship. Uh, and the expected date is looking like January 29th. So the end of January is when we expect to hear more about this phone uh, from Google as terms of a release date. Now, if that's the release date when it actually comes out or a announcement date, we will have to wait and see. But I, I would imagine we would hear it towards uh, mid to end January um, at this point. But what do you guys think of the Pixel 3? I mean, again, I think this is great if you want a better camera than the OnePlus 6T. But at the same time, I think the OnePlus 6T is pretty much better in every other way with the exception of the camera than this phone would be. So I think they're definitely going to have to really come into um, their own when it comes to uh, how they're gonna market this and how they're gonna pitch this to the general consumer. All right, now this next bit of news, again, as always guys, when it comes to politics, we try not to get into it. So please don't get fighting in the comment section about the politics version of it. Let's just go on the overall tech side and how it's affecting the tech world when it comes to this. All right, so Huawei is in a lot of talks right now because of several different things going on. 
So first and foremost, uh, let's actually, before we get to this article, let's actually go to this one because I think it's a big one right now. So the CFO, if I'm not mistaken, I think that uh, she's a she's a chief executive or she's an officer of Huawei. I want to say she's the CFO. Uh, was detained in Canada after giving a uh, talk in a conference, and then uh, by the request of the U.S. government, and then she, uh, she was she came over here to the U.S. Um, I'm not sure what that process was called, if it was detained or what, or transported, but basically. Because of all of this, it was uh, she is now being questioned uh, not only about a, a situation where um, Huawei could have been giving information to Iran, but it was more so the fact of that it's she she's being detained because of everything that the U.S. is upset about of spying with Huawei. And he, here's a little bit of backstory, basically what what they are being told and, and you know europe has a europe is uh getting questioning on them as well so a lot of different countries are questioning on this because apparently again this is hearsay at this point because there's no documentation as far as i know uh but that that the chinese government gives uh uh for all of their companies they have an agreement that if called upon, they have to release data to them. So that is where all this stems from. That if the Chinese government didn't have this apparently, then that would be different. But apparently because they have this with a lot of their top companies, it's become a big issue. Um, and that being said, with this attain, China is understandably upset, you know, and they're like, there will be grave consequences if she is not released immediately. So this is definitely something that you can expect to follow this week because there will be talks of this. This is a very serious thing that, you know, this chief uh, officer right now from a Chinese company, one, pretty much one of, if not the biggest Chinese company, at least in tech, uh, is being detained right now. Again, they sell more in China than Apple sells in the US, just to give you an idea of how big they are in China. Um, and yeah, so that, that is what, what the current uh, issues are. Now, stemming from this, there's other talks. So first, let's go into this. Huawei is currently being considered for a ban in the US. That means they would be banned from selling phones or any electronics uh, like ZTE was last, or no, this year, earlier this year. It was earlier this year, ZTE had a ban on them and you can no longer sell not only their phones or smartphones or anything like that, but all of their electronics, which actually included um, things like uh, one thing that ZTE makes for almost every carrier is a hotspot. Almost every hotspot is ZTE branded. So when that was taken, it was a big hit um, and it, it really was big. Uh, so because of all that, there was a lot of issues with this. Um, and if Huawei gets that as well, you will see a lot of prepaid phones and a lot of entry-level phones uh, but suddenly be taken out of the market. And it's a shame because, um, oh yeah, I have it right here. The Mate 20 Pro is an amazing phone. It really is. This is definitely, like I said a while ago, gonna be on the top three smartphones of the year. It, it is, it, it really is. And I, I, I've said it since the beginning. Look, I don't, I'm not getting into the politics of it, but I just wish that there was a way for the two countries to figure it out and make it work because this kind of competition where you get innovative brands like Huawei, like Vivo, like all these different Chinese manufacturers coming into the US and competing with Samsung and Apple, you're going to get more innovation. And that is what I want to see. That is what I really hope to see more than anything else. I'm just in it for the innovation because when, when people innovate, when different companies innovate, consumers win and that's all I want. But if again, this is a ban, that is going to be a serious hit for Huawei. ZTE lost billions within I think a month. Uh, so it, it's a very serious thing if this happens against Huawei. All right, now, in more news about this, um, this is also being talked about because of current Chinese tariffs that could be coming up. And the reason why I say this is because this is a big impact on Apple. 
See, Apple would be one of the biggest people that will pay these Chinese tariffs. So as of right now on January 1st, I believe, or, or, or in the month of January, there is going to be taxation on Chinese, uh, on Chinese imports that uh, will equivalent to the revenue of up to 200 billion for the year. So that's a lot of money. Now, Apple is exempt from this. This one, Apple is exempt from. However, the following one, Apple wouldn't be exempt from, and that one would be estimated to be at 287, I want to say, 267 uh, a billion uh, in tariffs. And this one, Apple would be the main payer of. Understand this, guys. If Apple pays this, they could very well, and I'm not exaggerating, be losing money. Apple, Apple, as much money as they make, as much money as they make, this can cause them to lose money. And I'm not exaggerating on that because they make on average revenue wise, revenue, uh, not, or sorry, not, re not revenue, profit. Profit, they make anywhere between 30 billion and usually I think the highest peak they hit was around 70. So 30 to 70 billion per quarter. You're talking about if they're the majority payer of 200 plus billion in tariffs. Oh, they're, they're gonna they're going to, and it's it's been a very big thing. So this really is something that again we will have to wait and see how it plays out. But this could affect Apple very much so um, up to the point where they would have to change a lot, and. I will say this because people think that, you know, well, no electronic parts, all electronic parts come from China. And again, I would say assembly wise, pretty much all of them do, but you have to think of this. You know what Apple part is made in the U S you'll never guess what Apple part is made in the U S the Apple part that's made in the U S that is manufactured and produced in the U S is their processor, which is made by Samsung made in Texas. So that I think is funny that, you know, it's interesting, could could that happen more later? We'll see. All right, and finally, in the last bit of news, away from all this politics and now just more annoying the hell out of me, we talked about last week how Google would be shutting down Hangouts eventually, and they're going to migrate everyone to Hangouts Meet and Hangouts uh, Chat or some, some stupid name, I forget. Um, so now they just reported they are also killing Allo in March of 2019. How long was Allo around? I mean, did Allo even last like three years? God, Jesus, Google. Get your, t how, do you, how do you not know how to text message? I swear, this will be a tech rant. This will be a whole thing because it just, I've already done a tech rant actually on Google messaging in general, but I really have to do a, a bigger thing. And that is, you know, I'm gonna have to do what I did with Samsung with the dear Samsung part. I'm gonna have to do with Google because let's be honest, they they need help right now. And they obviously don't know what they're doing when it comes to this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna be the guy to help. I'm gonna try. All right, guys, that was all of the news for this week. Now let's get to your questions. If you have a question you wanna ask, just ask it in the comment section down below and I will answer it before the end of the show. And remember, it's always 116 here. All right, let's get to all of your questions. Whoa, hey, we have two uh, super chat. Um, okay. Mm, sorry, thought I had to ban someone really quick, so just didn't have to do that yet. Hopefully not, I won't have to. All right, so uh, first super chat, uh, again, thank you. Uh, Brian Wilson uh, says, AT&T Red Hydrogen, should I buy it? No, no one should really buy it unless, okay, first of all, I would say no one should really buy period right now. However, when their attachments come out and you can attach a lens to it, like a prosumer lens, that might be interesting. But let's wait and see till other YouTubers that have way more money than me, um, buy this uh, phone and really show us how 
the quality is, if it really is that amazing. Because let's not forget, what was it? I think Sony had an attachment like that before, and so did Motorola have an, a lens attachment. Now, not, not legit lenses, as good as uh, the ones that is, are being rumored for the red hydrogen, but at the same time, if it's not gonna be as good of a quality, we, that's what we need. So I would, I would hold off. I would not buy the red hydrogen one right now at all. And quite frankly, I'm pretty sure it's going to drop in price. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, Alex Rudd, uh, thank you for the second super chat. Anything that makes Apple look bad is fine by me. Uh, there, there is something that could definitely could make Apple look bad, uh, Shun with all this stuff. Which is better, pre prepaid or uh, plan? Um, in my opinion, I would say both have their merits. Um, it, it, I think it's more so, look, for your plan, you get more. You get more for having a plan. However, I, I think it's more of a financial situation, to be honest, than anything else. I, it, it just, it really goes down to financial situation. I think more than anything else that you could label it under. So yeah, that, that would be my thing is that it, it goes down to a financial situation. I, I would say so. All right. Um, thanks, hello, what's up? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, any news on the Gear Icon X for 2019? No, that probably wouldn't be allowed to MWC, uh, which is uh, not right now. Whoa, we got another Super Chat, $5. Uh, KLVSD, thank you, appreciate that. And uh, keep up the good work. I really appreciate the $5 Super Chat. Uh, any Super Chat I appreciate. Thank you guys very much. All right. Um, Poco, Poco, Poco. Um, oh, we're talking about what I did. Uh, what VPN are you using? Honestly, I still jump around to different VPNs. Uh, what was the one that I just installed the other day? There was one that I just installed. Unlimited VPN. I just needed a VPN because I was at a hotel and I just, I needed a VPN and I didn't have one on my new laptop. So I just installed uh, unlimited uh, VPN. It worked fine for what I needed it for, which just, well, you know, security. I wanted to do bank stuff and I didn't want it to be there. And it worked fine for that. Um, it didn't slow down, I would say at all. So yeah, it, it was good for, for that purpose. Um, gear icon would be cool. Hello from Michigan. Hello, Brian from Michigan. Um, what up RCKY? Hey Frank, uh, what's happening? Hi, hi man. Um, or is that Jamie? I'm not sure which one. Uh, what do you think of KBHD's blind camera test? I did not get to te uh, take a look at that. Honestly, I really, I'm not a fan of blind camera tests to be honest though. Uh, I get, I get the idea behind it, the double sided, uh, you know, double blind test kind of thing. Uh, well, it's not double blind. Usually they know obviously which one it is. Um, I think that would be more interesting though, if it was a double blind test. I don't know if it was, again, I didn't watch the video, but overall, um, I, I, here's my thing is I, I think I'm going to do uh, a video on this too, like a let's be honest video. And it's going to be like, I, I honestly think YouTubers need to be more honest about the way they take photographs because they touch up photographs, even if they say no filter, no edit, no edit and all that. It's not exactly true and there's ways around it. So that's what I really, I think I have to do a video on because if, if you if you see YouTubers post, right? You don't ever see the bad photos. And I think that's a bit, you know, disingenuous. Um, and yeah, that's what I think we need more of. I think we need more of the bad photos that the phones take, not just the perfected ones, the perfect angle, perfect shot kind of ones. That's my opinion. Uh, what do you think about the new Avengers trailer? I thought it was good. I thought it was, it's a teaser trailer, right? It's a teaser trailer. Uh, for everyone, you know, thinking on the theories and all that kind of stuff, I think, yes, you're going to see uh, Captain Marvel, Pepper Potts, or even, I think it's going to be Nebula, honestly, that comes back for Tony Stark because she is seen in a similar ship after. So I think she, like, left him and then comes back for him. That's what I think is going to happen. Uh, so yeah, that, uh, but yeah, so you're going to see that. Uh, also, I think one of uh, one of the um, like you know trailer breakdowns uh, actually showed that Scott Lang that that footage 
um it says like something like archived 1980 something so it could have been that he went back in time so we'll have to wait and see but i don't know um whoa charles thanks for the ten dollar super chat i really appreciate it and you just said thanks uh thank you for that i really appreciate it all right let's keep going with the questions guys uh let's see apple youtubers are saying apple is in trouble apple is in trouble apple is in trouble um i might do an update on that later i really wanted this week to be all the camera comparisons because i have all the camera comparisons now set to be recorded um but uh i think we're going to probably address that because apple is in trouble and i think wall street is trying to deny they're in trouble but they are they're in trouble um no pill-shaped camera cutout is ugly <laughs> Unfortunately, it's what it looks like it's gonna be. I'm not saying I think it's better than a notch, but not that much better. That's my opinion. Um, how was NYC? I, I loved it. NYC was really fun. I had uh, two really good pizzas, one really amazing bagel, and uh, saw different sights around there. Uh, had a lot of fun at the Xiaomi event. It was really uh, cool. Didn't see, I, I have to be honest though, I didn't see really any YouTubers that I knew. I saw more influencers. And what I mean by that, I don't mean tech influence. I just mean influencers. Like there was two uh, families uh, vlogging there. One was really annoying. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, I just, God, like it, it is so funny for me. Uh, and I remember I was talking to Ali about this, how like some people don't think like, you know, it, I understand turning it on, right? So I was talking about like, man, sometimes I'm just like, oh, I don't feel like doing, you know, the show today. And then I'm like, all right, hey guys, what's up? This is Mobile Weekly, you know, and kind of turn it on like that. But like, there is a whole nother level with some of these vloggers. Like they were there for an hour and then they did a video on being excited to finally come in. And it was just like, Oh my God, this is the most like BS thing ever. And you are completely lying at this point to your, I don't know. It was just like, yeah, I don't know. For me, it's like be yourselves and, and not so much of an exaggeration of yourself is always my opinion for YouTubers. Um, I will get the S10 top device. When will it be available? Right now, I would have to say the S10 still will be on that early March slot. There is rumors that it could be out as early as late January. That's where your range is right now. After the update camera, the camera shutters while recording videos, what is happening? Any fixes? Uh, what phone are you talking about? After the camera shutters while you're recording videos, it is happening to you. I have no issues with my uh, note uh, with my note phone. No, um, if that's what you're talking about, but I'm not sure if you're talking about another phone. Apple is working on smart sheets. W smart sheets? What, like, like bed sheets? What do you mean by that? Let me know. Uh, iPhone is horrible, nightmare. Uh, again, they, they are in trouble for sure. Hey, Patriots and my geek tech nerds at heart uh, in late Ricky had to run family town uh, catch rerun full. Uh, can't wait till the note 10. What's the four one room around the note 10? Love y'all. Uh, no, no update on the note 10. Uh, Merry Christmas to you too. Um, what's super chat? Super chat is a way that um, I still maintain that I don't know how it turned on. Uh, but uh, that basically you can turn on on your channel um, and basically what it is is just a way that if you want to donate to a YouTuber that you really like, uh, you can click Super Chat. I don't know where it is. If one of you guys could tell me where a Super Chat is, if it's on the top right or the top left, I don't know. Uh, but basically like you can click on it and you can donate, uh, you can donate like a dollar, two dollars, whatever you want. Uh, to a to a youtuber and you know it basically for me it literally helps me do this like 
I am doing this, this is my main job now and I have a part-time job because this doesn't pay all the bills. I mean, you know, I have a daughter, I have a wife, you know. Uh, so basically it just, it helps YouTubers basically make this their full-time job as they go on their way up to hopefully never need. Uh, I mean, you know, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's what Super Chat is. Um, EKG with Apple Watch in the latest update OS. Yes, it did get updated with that. Uh, everyone is saying that it's pretty accurate, so way to go Apple for that. The EKG update uh, does seem to be working just fine. Um, do you know if they're going to fix the audio problem with the Google Pixel 3 XL? Have you heard anybody having this problems on the mute button? Uh, I have not had this problem on the Pixel 3, which I heard it did. Some of these issues are happening on the Pixel 3 as well. Luckily, I've not had any problem. However, I will be honest in that of the Pixel 3, I take around as a camera, but not a phone. So like right now, my main two, my SIM cards are in the Huawei Mate 20 Pro and the uh, Note 9. However, I take the Pixel 3 around as an additional camera if I want to get a different kind of shot, mainly for selfies. I usually like it for those. Um, my dark mode, my YouTube is dark. I like it. Yes, the dark mode on YouTube is awesome. Um, I like it too. Is Super Chat an app? No, it's built into uh, built into YouTube. Uh, what's better, a notch or a camera hole? I think a camera hole is better, but that is a debate right now. I'd rather not have either one. But wouldn't everyone not have either one, to be honest? Um, whoa, another Super Chat. <laughs> R. Rosid, 85. Uh, ten dollars. Shout out to the YouTube Tech Guy, uh, Rob. I really appreciate it. That is awesome. Thank you again. Uh, Super Chat is always on. Dollar sign near the chat. Thank you, Alex Rudd. I really appreciate that for another two dollars super chat. Thank you guys so much for the super chats. I I, I really do appreciate it. I, I want you guys to know that. Um, where are we now? Um, let's just say a whole bunch of questions just slow because I had to scroll down all the way down. By the way, every time I uh, say a whole bunch of questions just loaded, everyone has to drink. That's a rule. Um, let's see. Um, a hole on the S10 is okay, uh, but two isn't notch feeling. I would say, yeah, I, I would say if it was one hole, I thought it would have been better, but two holes, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, oh, forgot, bust, bust my glass only, uh, screen note eight, uh, don't need digitizer, only glass replacement, $65 parts and labor glass, any company sell replacements, uh, at a decent price? Um, I don't know. I would use iFixit is the company that I usually, or is it I, or no, you break iFix, you break iFix is a certified Samsung, uh, repair uh repair place uh that you know there's lots of them around the us and those are certified by samsung which means you're actually going to keep your water protection um so yeah that, that's why i would recommend it uh i hear apple is bringing back the 10 back because of bad sales uh on the uh x max and the xr so they can buy back money oh to samsung for making the phone uh, yeah, th they are basically uh, selling more tens before it goes out now. Um, now look, are they gonna deeply discount it? I don't know if they are. They, they really just, again, the 10R is not selling. They overpriced it. They should have priced it 100 to $200 less and it would have been a good phone and it would have sold well. Uh, they are really pushing that it's on sale. I think if we go to Apple's website right now, right? Yep, okay, so look at this. When have you ever seen something like this? On Apple's website, the landing page of apple.com, get the iPhone XR for $449. They are struggling with this phone because let's face it, it's not selling well. So they're trying to tell you, hey, it's $450. It's not really, that's with the $300 trade-in value phone. Uh, but, or $350 actually, I think. And XS for $699, it is all about their sales. Their front page on their website is about their discounted phones. Again, they're not really discounted, it's a trade-in value, but when has Apple ever pitched that? 
when has Apple ever pitched that? Yes, Apple is in trouble. Whoa, we just had another huge super chat. Uh, uh, bl Blutes, Blutes, I want to say is Blutes, uh, E39. Now I know uh, how to super chat. Beat this. Shout out. <laughs> Beat this. Hey, hey, it's not a competition. Beat this. Shout out to Ricky from San Diego. Let's drink to this. Hey, uh, cheers to that. Thank you very much for the super chat. $15. That's crazy. Um, all right. Uh, let's get back to the all the comments. Um, let's see. Uh, full screen to body ratio with a hole in it. That is an L. I would take a loss, yeah, for that one. I don't trust Huawei. I understand. I mean, look, these these tendencies. I would I would say it's not so much Huawei. I don't trust. It's because the Chinese government has that that they make their their top manufacturers agree to something like that. I don't trust that. Again, try not to get into politics too much, but it's 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 shady. I am ready for an update to my phone. What do you think of the Red Hydrogen One? Again, I no, no, it's it's not, it's not there. Uh, I have a Galaxy Note Eight. My screen cracked. Uh, do you have any advice on the fastest way to get it fixed? Um, again, U Break I Fix is a great repair center that uh, does pretty competitive pricing. But again, because they're Samsung certified, you keep the water uh, protection seal. Which again, if they are not Samsung certified, you do not. So be careful where you take it. Um, uh, disable a uh, veteran in need, uh, please help contact me via here. Um, okay. New hair. Don't care. I see you pimpin. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have new hair. I've had it for a while now. Um, don't do it, Brian. It's crap. Yeah. Again, Brian, do not get the hydrogen one. Uh, Mate 20 X again. I will not begin the Mate 20 X just because the, the Mate 20 Pro is already expensive enough. Um, heart shaped hairline. It's a V hairline, but yeah. Um, it's a Vegeta hairline. is is my favorite one to say because it's better than Eddie Monster or any of the other ones. Um, <laughs> Or the or the one plus notch. The one plus six T was made based on my notch. I mean, I'm just saying, just saying. You you want to know what the one plus what the T and one plus six T stands for? One plus six Tech Guy Edition. If you didn't know. Um. Uh, let's see. Is HEC still valuable today? Their phones are underrated. Um. I think their phones are underrated, to be fair, uh, but they just haven't done anything to differentiate themselves anymore. It, it just, they don't have anything I would say to really bring to the table, if that makes sense. Like, you know, the Pixel has the best camera. The OnePlus 6T has the best for the price. LG is kind of failing because they, yeah, they, they had the triple camera, but now other manufacturers are doing the triple camera. So it's kind of like Samsung has the name uh, and, you know, best screen and all that kind of stuff. But, so yeah, HTC had boom sound. There are way better phone speakers now. So yeah, they, they need something to really stand out. Uh, Tim Cook has lunch with Trump once a month. Uh, you can guess the rest. Yeah, probably. Um, Note 9 or wait for the S10. I would wait for the S10 at this point. That would be me. It, it's December. I would wait for the S10. Um, will Galaxy S10 have Face ID? I really like that feature. Um, I hear they are removing the iris scanner and replacing it with the Face ID and having the front the cameras in the front really kind of stand that out. Um, do you think Android will ever get messaging games like Apple? Not if Google doesn't get their shit together. I don't think so, no. Uh, what do you think about the holes in the Galaxy S10? Honestly, I would rather have a notch uh, or the traditional design with thinner bezels. I would rather have the traditional design with thinner bezels. 
That's what I would easily rather have than this. I don't need it to be symmetrical too. If anything, just do this. Like my thing is just do this. Why can't you get rid of this bezel entirely? Get rid of this bezel at the bottom entirely and just leave the top one. That alone would give us what? Probably 0.2 bigger screen. We have more screen. We have, it just, it to me, that's way better. That's just way better. Um, I bought the LG V35 from B&H. Uh, I didn't get to go there. It sucked. Uh, they gave me a Google Daydream Google uh, goggles. Uh, what real function does the Oculus-like device have? Uh, I never used mine. <laughs> um, I don't know what I did. Do I still have my Daydream? Holy sh... I still have my Daydream. Wow. Yeah, I never used it. I never used it. I, I can't believe I still have it. I thought it... That's right, because I traded in the Pixel 2. So I just, I didn't, I never, because I, I sold, I was going to sell it with the Pixel 2. But yeah, uh, Daydream didn't have anything when I was, uh, it, it literally had like, I think one good game and that was it. I don't know how much has improved. For me, Oculus Go is still the best thing going right now for VR. Um, what's the best laptop money can buy? Ooh, that's a loaded question. Um, I'll tell you the one I just bought, if that makes you feel better. Uh, I just bought the Dell XPS 15 and I bought it with 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte solid state and a graphics card 1050, a TI, um, which is going to literally replace my current laptop and my current desktop. I'm going to do a whole video on it. I just, I, I did have to get the silver one cause it was the one on sale. Don't like the silver going to get it all black um with um some skins uh so yeah uh waiting for that basically as soon as i get that gonna do a video on it but i'm getting rid of uh basically my laptop and that so that i would say the best out there dell xps is pretty hard to beat it literally has one really bad thing about it and that is the camera which all cameras and laptops are garbage in my opinion anyway so yeah that if i if you, you asked me what I thought the best camera um, you can buy out there is. That's the one I would say is the best one. And that's literally the one I bought. It costed me, it was on sale for Black Friday for $15.99. So yeah, best one. Way better the price than any other one for sure out there. Than the razor blades, than the, um, than the uh, surfaces, all those. This had the best configuration that I wanted. Um... Where's the Samsung Galaxy Watch review? Scooter, I know, I know. It's coming. Been waiting for it, I know. Uh, still have my Gears 3 Frontier. I, uh, should I sell my old one and get the new one? In my opinion, yes. I literally, <laughs> funny thing just happened basically. My mom talked to me and said, oh, what should we get for your brother for Christmas? And she was like, why can't we get him a new watch? And I was like, okay, sure. And so we both went half on it and yeah. Then my brother calls me. Brother's like, hey, why don't we get mom a new watch for Christmas? And it's like, why don't we upgrade her new one? So I literally have in my uh, in my living room a new Galaxy watch for my brother and a smaller Galaxy watch rose gold for my mom. So yeah, um, yes, they are they are definitely worth it at least for the battery life alone. That is why my brother wanted it and my mom as well. Uh, my mom has a Android Wear watch, the Huawei watch, really looks nice, but. The functionality she does not like in comparison to the Galaxy Watch she had, or not the Galaxy Watch, but the Gear S2 she had before. She preferred that one uh, in terms of functionality. Um, so yeah, she's gonna get the Galaxy Watch and so is my brother. So yes, it's worth upgrading to it. Sorry, I haven't had the review yet, I'm sorry. Uh, um, only one person. Um, and I only have part-time editors. Um, Bigsby Voice 2.0 coming to the S8. I don't know if that is coming to the S8. I'm not sure of that. I haven't heard anything about it. Um, I think the S10 is coming at CES. Never seen leaks so early before. Uh, it's not even 2019 yet. We have had leaks this early before. So yes, we have. We've had leaks in December. If it's coming to CES, that would be great. I would love it because I would mean that would be the first launch event of an S series I've ever been to. But I don't know if it will. 
Um, I had wrote you a message about four weeks ago and you haven't gotten back in touch with me. Uh, what was the message about? Let me know. Um, will there, if it's an email by the way, or a message on like, one, I don't answer messages on Instagram. I just don't. Uh, it's, uh, don't bother messaging me on there. Uh, Twitter, I, I tend to respond more so to, um, and then also, um, obviously, if you catch me on the weekly show, that's the best time to talk to me because I'm answering every question. Um, what's the price? What would the price range be on the S10? The S10 will start at around 600, I think, for the light, and then go up to a thousand, or maybe not a thousand, maybe in like 900, I think. Actually, I think 900 will be the top price for for normal storage, not any expandable, not any higher storage. Um, ever thought of shaving the beard and going with a goatee? I have done goatees before in the past. Uh, my wife actually was the one who liked this thicker beard and I've had it since. And now I'm trying the longer hair because I told her, I'm like, I could have hair like Captain America. And she was like, I don't think you could. And so I was like, fine, I'll do it. As long, at least it proves to me that I'm not growing bald in my early 30s. Still got good hair. Um, so yeah, happy about that. <laughs> YouTubers say no filter like uh, cam girls say no filter. I like that. Uh, Ricky, have you heard of the Plantronics uh, Backbeat Fit 3100? Uh, or would plan to review them? I have not heard about them. Uh, Plantronics is one of the people I'm actually planning on visiting at CES, so I will see and maybe hopefully we'll get to visit them there. Um, that's why I am confused about the Note 9 or the S10. The S10 will possibly have 5G, cost an arm and a leg, but will 5G be worth it in 2019? No. 5G is not worth it in 2019. I'm going to do a video about that. You should not get a phone for 5G next year. Um, I just got the Google Home Mini for 99 cents through Spotify. That is an awesome price. Wow. I wish I had Spotify just for that. Um, what are your thoughts on the Snapdragon 855? I think it's impressive. Uh, it's a, it's an upgrade definitely, but we'll see how much of an upgrade it really is over time. So yeah. Um, hey Ricky, I'm thinking about becoming a tech creator. Uh, can you give me advice? Uh, yeah, I would say the first advice is start off with the smartphone as your camera. Uh, I mean, if you have another camera, great. Start off with smartphones, cameras, my one recommendation right away. Uh, lighting and audio are the biggest key. So get an external mic for whatever smartphone you have. Uh, Rode mics are great for external mics on smartphones. And then your lights, uh, your lighting situation would be secondary after that. So yeah. All right. <laughs> Um, hold on one second. Sorry about those technical difficulties. All right. Um, where was I? How's the quality quality on speakerphone on the Mate 20 Pro? Um, I have the S9 Plus and I think the speakerphone is horrible comparing it to an iPhone. Um, I've only had a speakerphone call on the Mate 20 Pro once and it was fine for that. I will say on the S uh, on Samsung phones, if you're newer to them, uh, you do use the, you can use the settings button at the top. So at the top, when you make a call, there is little three dots at the top you can use that during a call to actually increase your volume. So if it's if if it's not loud or anything like that, you can actually increase the volume for it. Also take a look at the first things you should do with Samsung because there is a way to improve the audio quality on your phone calls. So make sure to take a look at both of our videos for that. Um, am I the only one having the Note 9 issue camera? Uh, it's like a downgrade after a few weeks of having the phone. I don't have it, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I, I don't have it. Um, but uh, does anyone else have any issues with their camera on the Note 9 if you have a Note 9? Uh, some people think... Any Android phone... Whoa, a whole bunch of questions just slid. Everybody drink. Um, let's see. 
and I am gonna have to wrap up guys got about five more minutes so ask your questions now when is your May 20 uh, review coming? I think it will be by next weekend now at this point, uh, which is, I, I think I've said that for a couple weeks now, it, it would be uh, a little bit later just because of doing all these things. And again, I wanna do the LG and OnePlus review too, but the May 20 Pro, I'll tell you, is the one I'm most excited about. Um, is there any dollar sign uh, in the chat bar? Uh, hit the first one. Oh, before chatting. Um, would you buy a smartwatch that was refurbed? I'm afraid to buy one because uh, because of the battery could so much worse and no um, swap these batteries. Uh, I would. I, I'm always down for refurbish uh, refurbishments, uh, especially certified refurbish. Look for that word, certified. If it's certified refurbish, I tend to definitely go with it. Uh, Ricky, I have the Note 8, love the phone, hate the speaker. Should I upgrade to the S9, Note 9? Or wait for the new, I would wait for the new S10. Or, yeah, I'd wait for the new S10 or get the Note 9. The Both phones have way better speakers, so yeah, you will help, uh, you will love that. Install YouTube uh, Advanced if you want, dark gray or even blue YouTube. I've uh, so, Some people commented on that. I will check that out uh, because some people did comment it on uh, my chat. I just don't want to lose my YouTube Prime, which I don't know if I will, or Premium. Or, yeah, is YouTube Premium? Premium. Yeah, YouTube Premium. I don't want to lose that, so I want to make sure I keep that. Uh, that's why I have to check into that. How will apps look in the S10 with those holes in the way? I think it's going to be the same exact thing, to be honest. I think you're going to have a hide the holes option. Um, have you tried Android Pi beta on the Note 9? No, I'm going to try Android Pi, Android One UI on the S9 Plus. I have not gotten a chance to install it because I just got back from New York yesterday. Um, any suggestions uh, where to find a Nexus 6P for cheap? eBay. Um, when you go Super Saiyan uh, and going blonde, just like. My, my hair actually does for this, but actually the funny thing is I can do that Gohan thing. If I have, if I wet my hair, I can have that Gohan streak like right here. Um, shout out to Ricky YouTube tech guy. Great job, man, on the channel and the stream. Thank you, uh, 10 Minute Tech Reviews. I appreciate that. Uh, golden hairline. Yep, gotta go Super Saiyan, Vegeta. I need the M, I need the M symbol and then I can go Super Saiyan. Um, what would you, uh, what would your perfect chat app uh, for Google be like if you could have it your way and beat Apple's chat? Very simple. I want Hangouts, what Hangouts is. I want what Hangouts is, signing up the way you sign up for Allo. So the way you sign up for Allo is through your phone number. Simple, great, easy, perfect. And then have all the functionality of Hangouts, be able to chat on any web browser, be able to get your chat on any computer, being able to send digital files and uh, with Wi-Fi or LT or whatever. Um, see if someone's talking, being able to share your location, being able to take a video, being able to video chat in the same app. So everything Hangouts is, and it's the default text message app on every single Android phone, doesn't matter which one it is, need Samsung, Samsung's the number one key, and have it sign up through your phone number. Then guess what? You can download it on iOS. Think about that. If you can do that, you will destroy iMessage and that will be the end of it. Yeah, you can have all extra stuff like stickers and well, Allo had stickers, uh, but you can have all the stickers and all that kind of stuff and great, have fun with it. But if you just have that functionality, it would be better than iMessage. Uh, more bad news for Huawei. They are now banned in Australia, New Zealand, and Japan. US is asking for a ban of Huawei devices as well. It's, it's getting bad. It's getting bad. Um, I don't like Apple. It's clear you hate Apple. I mean, maybe. Did Apple somehow hurt you? They hurt me by what they do to customers, especially back in the day. Um, or simply because your business strategy on YouTube. If I can be honest, if you can be honest with your fans. Uh, no, my thing is Apple is that Apple has done a lot of, let's say questionable marketing since I'm a Mac, I'm a PC. At Macs don't get viruses. Actually, Macs don't get viruses because they take up less than 10, at the time, they took up less than 10% 
of the entire computer systems in the world. They take about that now, I think 15% because they were up to 25 and they went down with the rise of Chromebooks. So the reason why Mac, and now you're seeing Chromebooks do it. The reason why Chromebooks and Macs don't get viruses is not because they are more secure. It's never been because they're more secure. It's because not many people have them. So if I create a virus, I am going to target the 85% of people that have Windows because then my virus won't get more people. That's the reason malware, viruses, all that kind of stuff is towards the popular. That's why Android always has talked about getting more viruses, malware, and all that kind of stuff because of the fact, it's this simple, they're the, they're the main ones. If Apple was as big as Android or as Windows, they would get more viruses, plain and simple. They're not more secure at all. So things like that have always angered me about Apple. Things like, oh, well, you know, uh, we just come, I forgot what, but it was back in those days when it was really like annoying. The fact that they're so proprietary, like if you were locked into iTunes, you were locked into iTunes. But yeah, that's when my anger really started with all Apple stuff. And it's just that they're so locked in. I like freedom, plain and simple. You can't get that on Apple. Um, Tim Cook can have lunch with Trump all he wants. Uh, that's probably why Apple's been ruined so much. How Trump's uh, not getting into that. Uh, again, try not to get into politics, guys. Um, have you tried Samsung SmartThings Hub? Uh, what did you think about it? Uh, Smart Home Hub, would you recommend? Uh, I have Samsung SmartThings Hub, actually. I've had it for two years now, I want to say. Uh, and it connects certain things that would not otherwise be connected in my house. So yeah, I, I mean, it's a good bridge. Um, this... Whoa, you break I fix said that, that phone would be $225 uh for uh to replace the screen the battery frame and the guaranteed waterproofing but it's too much if you just want the screen that is too much for sure oof um best laptop is the note 9 i don't think so uh dell xps killer i love my laptop uh how will you be asking for the s10 how will i be asking for the s10 i'm not sure what you mean uh opinion on the pixel slate will you get one no no, I won't. Um, I can actually, I actually got a case for the Note 9. I got it called Super Case and it kept my phone awesome. Have you heard of the brand? Yes, I've, I've actually reviewed Super Case if I'm not mistaken before. All right, all right guys, we are going to uh, get to the end of this. Uh, that will be the end of the show. Thank you always so much guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And yeah, th thank you guys so much. All right guys, uh, that will be the end of the show today. A lot of stuff coming later this week. So make sure to check out, including some of the coverage that we shot in, in New York uh, yesterday, two days ago. All right, thank you guys always again for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.